In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate using keyframes inside of Premiere Pro. Hello, my name is Vegard from the filmmaking.store where you can find presets and LUTs for your filmmaking needs. Go to the filmmaking.store today and get yourself some presets. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future filmmaking and video editing tutorials. So let's get right into the tutorial. First we are going to click here to add some text to the box right here. I'm going to select the text and inside of the essential graphics panel, I'm going to center this up. And here you can change the text font, you can change the size of the text and everything that you need. But we're not going to focus on that right now. We have our text and we are just going to leave it there. Then I'm going to highlight the text down here in the timeline and we are going to start working with keyframes to animate this text. So under the effect controls panel, we got options to animate. Right here, we got a timeline for the animation. Under motion, which we are going to work with today, we have position, scale, rotation, anchor width, and anti-flicker filter. But we are going to focus on position and scale for this tutorial. To animate with keyframes, we need to change the position of the text. And of course, you can drag this around from one side to the other, but nothing is going to be recorded at this moment. To start animating, we have to use the toggle animation stopwatch, and that is in front of each parameter. So first we're going to work with position. So I'm going to click on toggle animation and that will make a keyframe here. Uh, and we can drag this keyframe wherever we want. So I'm just going to put the keyframe right there. And in the timeline now right here, I'm going to move a little bit further down and I'm going to use this parameter right here to drag the text to the end of the screen right there. And when I'm doing that, you can see we got another keyframe right here. So if we play back this animation right now, we have a simple animation from left to right. So this is a really simple animation that you can do, but for my taste, it's a little bit slow. So if you want to increase the time between the starting keyframe and the end keyframe. You can drag the end keyframe closer to the starting keyframe and you will then have a faster animation just like that. If you want to delete the keyframe, you can just select the keyframe and click back shift and it will delete the keyframe. You can also do this animation if we make a keyframe like this, we can have the text go down. So the animation will go down just like that. So using this as an example, you can see that the text is stopping really abrupt. And now I'm going to show you one of my favorite features with keyframing. If we have a start point and an end point, and you want this to slowly go out from position number one, take up speed right here and then end more uh, smoothly. We can do that by highlighting the first keyframe, right click, and we're going to use temporal interpolation. So select ease out on the first keyframe and on the second keyframe, we're going to select Temporal Interpolation again and select Ease In. And now between these two points, the animation will look more professional and smooth. So take a look like there. That's beautiful. 
So that's one cool thing you can do with keyframes. If you want to delete every keyframe now, you can just click the stopwatch again and you will get this warning. This action will delete existing keyframes. Do you want to continue? Okay. And now we have reset our workspace. The same applies to the scale as well. So if you, for example, let's say start with 50% and then move forward on the timeline uh, and have like a 100%, you will have this text animating and scaling inside of the keyframes. Another thing you can do is to rotate the text. So if we make a keyframe in the beginning right here, and now this rotation is at zero. If you go forward in the timeline and adjust this value right here to let's say 90 degrees, the text will turn 90 degrees and we can play back the animation right here. So the text goes this way. You can also go more forward in time. If you want to hold this position a little bit, we can click the add, re add uh, another keyframe and then go a little, little bit down the road there. And we can make this, let's say 180 degrees. So when we play back this animation right now, it will slowly turn to 90 degrees, stop for a second and then turn around. So you can play around with this. You can ease in with this keyframe, you can ease out on this keyframe and for example, ease in again. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with keyframes. And the more you do it, you more you will understand how to use it. It might be a little bit intimidating at first, but believe me, if you work with keyframes, you will understand them over time. To learn more text editing techniques inside of Premiere Pro, I got a tutorial you can click on the screen right now. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, create and inspire, I will see you in the next video.